My dad was about to die, and this is right during the pandemic. And I went to, I, I went to the hospital, and then he, they were like, "Your dad's got about five days left. He doesn't want to get dialysis anymore, and he wants to just go home and just he, he's ready to go." He goes, "Steve, I'm ready. I want to go join your mom." And you know, you can't argue with somebody. He didn't want to do dialysis. He was 90 years old, but his mind was sharp, and it was Thanksgiving, and I was so sad. And we came down from the hospital. And we didn't make any food, and my dad was already crossing over to the other side, and there was a knock at the door. I went and opened it, and a friend of mine named Matt Donahue, he was like 6'6", 350 pounds, he's standing there. And he goes, hey, I brought over a Thanksgiving dinner, I just left my own house. I, I knew you guys probably didn't have time to cook one. And he comes in, and my dad's on that gurney, and he's loaded up on the drugs, and he hadn't made a sound for hours. And it was like one of those cartoons because he comes in with the turkey and you could see the smell wafting up. And I saw my dad's nostrils wiggle like that. And then all of a sudden he opened his eyes and he sat up and he looked at my friend and he goes, are you a sumo wrestler? <laughs> he goes, no, Mr. Bolt, I brought over a Thanksgiving dinner. And he goes, you got a turkey leg? And I looked at my dad like, what? And he goes, yeah, I got a turkey leg. Pumpkin pie? Yeah. Stuffing? Yeah. Mashed potatoes and gravy? Bring some over a turkey leg. My dad's sitting up. And he's going, Argh. eating a turkey leg, shucking the food like it was his last meal. And it was. Which is crazy. And then he lays back down. I go, dude, you don't understand. I can't believe this. And then he sits up again. And he goes to Matt, you want to hear some Shakespeare? And Matt goes, okay. And my dad starts reciting Shakespeare. And he goes, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps into this petty time. Does the whole sign. You want to hear another one? Does another one. He says, that's two Shakespeare's for you. Lays back down. And my friend goes, I got to get going now. And he goes, good to see you. And he he leaves, and the next morning, my dad, that food powered him till the next morning. And my dad's laying there, and I knew he was about to go, and he looks up at me, he grabs my hand, and he goes, we sure had some fun, didn't we? And I go, yeah, and the tears are just coming down. And he goes, come here, closer. And I come down, and he goes, here. And I put my ears right so I can hear him, and he goes, tell that sumo wrestler it wasn't Shakespeare. And I go, what? And he goes, the sumo wrestler with the turkey leg. The second poem I did was Richard Loveless to Acosta on going to the wars. Please make sure you tell him. He needs to know this. And I'm like, that's your last fucking words? I love you? You're worried about that guy? And that's why I'm his kid. And he goes, I just want you to know I still got it, Stevie boy. And drifted off. So I had asked him to leave me a sign if there was anything on the other side. And he said he would. He goes, what do you want it to be? And I said, Indian Joe, because he had a poem called Indian Joe. And he said, if there's anything on the other side, I'll leave you as, I'll leave you as a message. Well, there was nothing. Kind of like John Prine says, but his dad told him, when you're dead, you're a dead peckerhead. But then, just when I'd given up all hope, I got a text from a friend, and he'd taken a picture out of a newspaper from University of San Diego, where I went, Catholic college, of course. And it was a picture of my band, The Rugburns, and we had done a show with Green Day. And he said, remember when you guys played with Green Day and Billy Joe shared all his beer with you? That was cool. That's this text he sends me. He goes, I found this paper in my garage, but next to it was an article. Now, nobody knew what my dad said. He'd only told me. And the article said, Indian Joe traveling the world with acoustic guitar. <laughs> and there was a picture of a guy like this. I am not bullshitting you here. And I just lost it. So I wrote this song for my dad. And I want to thank you guys. Man, this has been an honor. Click, clack, 
Don't even think about looking back Kodak soundtrack I remember when my ma had a heart attack We were all on a conveyor belt In a factory on the wheel of time Yeah, we don't know when our car clocks out It was yesterday we were in our prime Tic-tac, tic-tac-toe Hey, I'm still looking for Indian Joe Where the hell did my dad go? Maybe where the river and the rainbow flow yeah, maybe where the river and the rainbow go At the top of the tree My love's got a money back guarantee I'm living now in Tennessee But I still scream for the Lindsay. Hey, let's go join the Jubilee Don't let the time run out on me My mom and dad Roll on the conveyor belt in a factory on the wheel of time. Yeah, we don't know when our car clocks out. It was yesterday we were in our prime. We can roll on the conveyor belt in a factory on the wheel of time. Yeah, we don't know when our car clocks out. It was yesterday we Seems like yesterday we were in our prime.